London, restaurant Wallace & Co. takes its final delivery of pumpkins before Halloween. The business only opened in January and co-owner Vernon Mascarenas hopes his display will draw in customers. By this time of the year, people have got, come back from the summer holidays, they've gone back to work, schools are just in around half term. It just gives an extra little buzz at that time of year. People sort of, they know they've got the winter coming up, Christmas is a little bit too far away. So it comes at the right time to actually do something. It's also a good time to help boost Britain's economy. Earlier this month, the government unveiled the biggest spending cuts for decades, more than £80 billion over the next four years. Halloween, originally a pagan festival, has been popular in America for years. Now it's also big in Britain, worth an estimated £280 million. Retail analyst Richard Perks from Mintel says it has good family appeal. It's, it's brand new, really. Ten years ago, 20 years ago, we didn't do very much of this. And I think it's, it's something which parents seem to like to do with their kids. I'm not sure that it really captures the public imagination. It certainly captured Daniela Hawksworth's imagination. She's come to collect a pumpkin portrait of her two-year-old daughter, Eva Rose. It's just one of the attractions Wallace & Co. hopes will keep customers coming back. They also have a wholesale business, supplying fruit and veg to other restaurants. Fernand says demand for pumpkins this year is stronger than ever. It's up round about 2,500. And I anticipate for next year, I'll probably grow about 15,000. The demand this year has been so big. We anticipate selling out on Halloween. However, this year, we sold out about 10 days before. Chef Craig James has been using some of them for his pumpkin pasta. Halloween is already a multi-billion dollar industry in America. And with Britain just being served, thank you, its latest round of spending cuts Businesses like this one will be keen not to scare its customers away. Mm. It will take more than pumpkins to restore Britain's economy, but anything that keeps people spending instead of just spooked is welcome at this increasingly dark time of year. Hayley Platt, Reuters.